mass shooting is again stoking the debate over gun control. Demonstrators protested in Washington, D.C., calling for tighter regulations. There have been few changes, even after Sandy Hook and the attack in Las Vegas five weeks ago. Critics say Congress simply doesn't have the will to pass tougher laws. As Tiffany Chan shows us, that is fine with pro-gun advocates who maintain weapons are safe in the right hands. This isn't a guns situation. America's mass shooting problem came up in Tokyo today, where President Trump blamed Kelly's psyche, not his weapon. I think that uh, mental health is your problem here. But there's no evidence yet that the shooting suspect was ever diagnosed with a mental health disorder, which may explain why he was able to obtain a Ruger AR-556 rifle. It's another absolutely senseless tragedy. On Capitol Hill, Democrats pushed for stricter gun laws. Universal background checks, you know, ensuring that everybody who buys a gun has to go through the same background check. It's just common sense. Massachusetts is some of the toughest gun laws in the nation. Here at the Boston Firearm Training Center, another mass shooting means more business. Another one again, so I'm going to get busy again. Because when people get scared, they want to be able to protect themselves. Owner Tom Sheffro says what happened in South Texas is undeniably tragic. But from his years of experience in teaching people how to use firearms both safely and responsibly, he doesn't believe stricter gun laws is the answer. There's only one way to stop a bad guy with a gun. There's a good guy with a gun. Tiffany Chan for WBZ News.